Fabric Pool is a NetApp data fabric technology that lets you automatically tier cold data to low cost object storage, either on or off premises. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat trick with a backup tiering policy that lets you archive an entire volume to the external capacity tier. What's kind of cool here is that performing a volume move with the tiering policy set to backup moves all the data in the volume to the capacity tier. A volume move is the only time when a backup tiering policy can be set on a non-DP volume. After the volume move has completed, the tiering policy on the volume will automatically change from backup to snapshot only. The volume isn't a data protection destination target, so it can't be a backup, which makes sense. All right, so let's get started. Here we are in the system manager on the storage tiers page. We have two aggers with attached external capacity tiers. The production pool agger is attached to Amazon S3, and the archive pool agger is attached to storage grid. Let's take a look at the production pool agger, more specifically, the project A volume on it, as that's the volume that we want to move in archive. In this example, the data in this volume is from a completed project. We have no plans to touch it anytime soon, maybe ever, but we need to keep it just in case. Rather than using space on our AFF system, we want to move it all, not just the snapshots, to the capacity tier. Let's have a look at this volume and move it. All right, so now we're looking at the volume. Let's expand it. Okay, let's click Actions, Move. Now let's select the destination aggregate. We want to move it to the archive pool and we'll set the backup tiering policy. Click move. Okay, are we sure we want to move this? Yes, let's click move. All right, it's starting the process now. Let's go back to the storage tiers page and look. Well, the data is now associated with storage grid. It's only a few hundred megs, but we can refresh the page. And now we're at gigs. And you know, after using you know S3 for a little while, it's nice to see transfer speeds like we do here, where storage grid is in the same data center as the AFF racks, and things are so much faster. Let's go collect that volume. It's associated with the archive. But you notice it's using the snapshot only policy. Remember, it's not really a backup data protection volume. And the blocks that are read from it, they're going to get pulled back to the performance tier as soon as they become hot. And there you have it, a cool fabric pool trick that lets you archive entire volumes at a time when you combine a volume move with a backup volume tiering policy. Thanks for watching.